Are you feeling upset, frustrated, sleep deprived, angry? Because you're not really sure how to work your sewing machine? Well, fear not. This video is for you. Place your thread on the spool holder. Take the strand of thread behind, across, and back around the bobbin winder tension disc. Pull the thread through the bobbin spool and place on the bobbin winder. Push it to the right and press down on the paddle to begin winding. Place the bobbin spool into the bobbin casing. I was taught to place the bobbin spool in the casing turning clockwise, but I know for some other machines, the spool needs to be turning counterclockwise. If you're a little bit confused, you can just check the user manual that came with your sewing machine. And I'll also link a video in the description below showing how it doesn't really matter which direction the spool is spinning. Then place the bobbin case into the machine. Place the thread on the spool holder. Then begin to follow the thread guide. Take a strand of thread behind, then down the tension discs, up and around the take up lever, and back down. Pull the thread behind the loop just underneath the needle clamp, then insert through the needle. Place the bobbin case into the machine. You can also hold the lever on the back of the bobbin case which keeps the spool from falling out. Hold the top thread and use the hand wheel to manually lower the needle. Once the needle returns to its place, pull on the top thread to bring the thread from the bobbin up and out. Take two pieces of scrap fabric. On one, draw a few straight lines, and the other, some circles or a pinwheel shape like I'm doing here. Use these lines as a guide to practice sewing straight stitches. Another thing you can do is fold one side of the fabric to practice hemming. I also made a video on how to hem a Levi's denim jacket. I'll link the video in the description below and on the side.
When you begin and finish sewing, it's always good to backstitch to secure the thread from moving out of place. Start by sewing a straight stitch. Once you've gotten to the end of the fabric, press down on the reverse lever. Release the lever and finish with a straight stitch. Begin by lowering the presser foot. Start with a straight stitch. Once you've reached the turning point, lower the needle and raise the presser foot. Turn the fabric, lower the presser foot, and continue sewing. Once you've done that a few times, you can just start going around in circles and practice that way. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks!